Hello, good evening. Hello, students, good evening. Hello, good evening. Hey, hello, welcome. Okay, it's actually a great pleasure to see you guys. Welcome you all. It's a good opportunity to start our classes this day, um, especially because it's raining. I don't know if it is raining where you live, but the weather is like very nice. Not at all, but we try at least. So how are you today? So Camilo, how are you? Good evening, teacher. I'm fine. And you? Great. Excellent. Excellent. So actually doing great here. It is raining where you live. Is it raining? No? Yes, it's raining since uh, two hours ago. Yeah, it's been raining. So the weather is very nice. But, you know, there are some places that could be a little bit dangerous because of these rains could affect but we are like waiting and well it's a pleasure guys to begin uh this day we start this week always with different goals and different things that we think about and also have the opportunity to continue learning and practicing english and we need to start but i need to make sure that all of us we have been practicing english during this free time during this time and everything has to be great has to be done in a better way so congratulations everybody because most of the time you're here with us in the class you always are responsible to join us since the time we we'll start at 9 p.m all of us we are here so that is a very very valuable experience for all of us remember that english is a very active language so all of us we have to practice don't forget to have the camera on and because it's important to have the camera on and let's begin and I just want to ask you guys, first of all, what do you remember we started in the last class? What do you remember? Help me with that because I forgot it. For certain circumstances of life, I need to know for you guys what we did in the last class. Que hicimos in the last class? What do you remember? We learned about prepositions on time. Okay, prepositions. And when do we use the prepositions of, of time? Do you remember the rules? When do we use on? Do you remember when do we use on as prepositions of time? When will we talk about dates and months? Okay, uh, for dates, okay, good, for months, all right. And when do we use uh, in, for example? When do we use in? Yes, I'm listening, where do we use in? Remember that Month? we, yes, for months, yes, yes. What else, what else? Years? For Las years? Estaciones. Centuries? Yes, centuries, of course. What else? Yes, right, right, doing great. Okay, thanks, Anna Maria. For, let us know about the difficulties she has because of the rains. And when do we use at? Remember me, when do we use at? Yes, tell me. Time out. Mm -hmm. Okay. For time, for hours, okay, specific time. That's great. So I'm very happy because you, you handle this topic, especially because it's necessary to reinforce it is a basic topic. So in a real conversations, we forget about that. Okay, so we're gonna start today with the, our new content that will be very valuable for us. We're going to talk about how much, uh, how much is it? 
especially when we want to know about some products when we want to know about prices we'll just ask uh, some questions about that so we have some general information so i will request to uh let's see here uh jennifer hernandez can you help us to read the general objective for this class yes a uh, general object objective will be able to risk a specific personal finance information scan specific information files in an informative document oh thank you so much i really appreciate it yes and we have some um uh, activities to, to socialize and practice english and we have general information like time expressions for regular activities what is what are the time expressions the time expressions are some words that can help us to identify um a specific time for example if it was weekly monthly daily every day week month year those are time expressions for regular activities. Uh, daily, do you know the meaning in Spanish about daily? Diariamente. Exactly. What about weekly? Semanal. Semanalmente. And what about monthly? Mensual. Mensualmente. Exactly. So we're talking about uh, those adverbs that give us some expressions about time. And also how to use time expressions like daily activities. We have routines and scheduled events like timetables, right? Always it's important to uh, talk about some time. When we do something, we say, you know what? I did this one um, every day or weekly or monthly. So we're just like focused about that. Well, we have a speaking activity. Uh, one of the goals about this activity is that you can socialize in English the following information. It says, let's start. How often do you have occasions? That is the first one, at your job. For example, as a teacher, William, in my case, I have vacations uh, twice a year. Oh, uh, twice a year, dos veces al año. Or teacher, I have vacations once a year. Oh, I don't have vacations because Sometimes it happen that we don't have occasions, but most of the time we have occasions. Uh, in my case, I have occasions twice a year. So on, uh, especially the first, the holiday time, and also in August, I have occasions in my case, right? Um, one week each, one week, uh, the first a uh, holiday week, for example, and one week on, especially, well, we're talking about August, in August. So we're, we have to say, when do you take them? Uh, that's what I take it. So think about that in uh, how often do you have vacations? Most of, most of us, we have vacations once a year or twice a year. So think about it and then we will socialize this information. Answer the two questions, please. Mm-hmm. 
Okay, and if one of you are ready to share your answers, you can say, I am ready, and you can share uh, your answers about vacations. Me yes, okay, um, we'll listen to you. Okay, share your answers. Okay, how often do you have vacation at your job? When do you take team? I have vacation in March and August for a week and in December for a month. Wow, so, so in December it's great because you have yeah. at least one month. Yes. Okay, that's very interesting. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Okay. Hey, teacher. Yes, hello. Hello, teacher. I am Ana Maria. Um, I have vacation one twice a year. Um, when do you take them? I have vacation on October. You Only on October. In October. Yes. In October. And for one week, two weeks, or? For three weeks. Oh, for three, three weeks. weeks. Yes. Okay, that's great. But mm -hmm. this, okay, yearly, yearly vacation, so three weeks? Yes. Okay, okay that's great. You mm -hmm. had a good time. Thank yes. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so we will take a short time to and socialize this information. So what I want you to do guys is to, well, make a small groups and you will share with your uh, classmates this information. So also you could express in a briefly way, what do you, do you usually do on, in, in your vacations? What do you usually do? For example, I go out or I go to any touristic attraction or I stay home and clean the house. What do, what do you do, do? What things you do on vacation? For example, if you go on in, in March, you know, perhaps you go to some religious activities or you stay at home, do some chores at home. So you can take this short time to socialize that. So what we have to do is we're going to make small groups. We are 21 right away. So we have a great number here. And remember, this is the time to speak in English. Speak, speak, speak in English. Let me see. Okay, let's start in practice English right now. Let's open the breaker rooms and practice. Okay, there are some students joining right now, so that's great. And be ready.
Okay, there are some students that they haven't accepted the invitation, please. Accept the invitation. Hello. Hi, hi, Miguel. Um, no ve la invitación para accesar. Hello. Oh, he's actually there. I can see him. Mario, Joanna. Um, I need you to accept the invitations, please, guys. Mario and Joanna. Hello, how can I help you? Oh, uh, see, sí, teacher. Yes, uh, tell me. Incorporation uh, because uh, connection. Ah, there is a problem uh, with the internet connection. Yes. Okay. Uh, I need to uh, speak. Speak. ¿Qué lo que vamos a hacer en clase? Okay, uh, we are working with this one and check. I will share the screen so you can see what we are doing. Look at this. You had to uh, you had to answer it with your classmates. How often do you have vacations in your job? And when do you take them? That is the questions. Uh, Jennifer, are you here? Brian? Yes. Hi. Hi. Okay. okay. I'm here. Okay, so uh, Jennifer, right. guys, I want you to help Elizabeth uh, with this activity. You can help them to answer in practice, please. Okay. Thank you. Okay, teacher. Okay, we have some students that they are still here and we are waiting for you um, in the breakup rooms. Let me see if I can um, send some of you to other groups so you can practice. And also the, let's see, just moving some of you guys to practice in a different group. Perhaps the internet connection is actually no good. Uh, Veronica. Um, Did you Teacher, yes. This, Hello. Excuse Hi. me. I'm not in good health. Uh, only present. Um, I think think um, uh, very hot. Yeah, I know. You told me that you were sick. Yeah, in that case, only join the only join a group as a listener. If you cannot yes. talk, okay. All right. Okay. Welcome, teacher. <laughs> Hi. Hello. Hi. Good Hi. evening. Hello. Good Hello. evening. How are you today? Oh, doing great. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Very nice. Um, relax. Is you know we start this week, and uh, with different goals and projections. Uh, cool. Cool. <laughs> okay. Did you okay. share your information or not yet? Mm, yes, you yes, you yes. finish. You finish. Yes, yes, yes finish. you finish. Okay, that's great. Okay, okay so okay. we will go back in uh, in some minutes. Okay. Okay.
Okay, we're back. Um, some some other some other students are joining us, and uh, well, it is still raining, so it's been raining hard. So after socializing a little bit about the equations, about vacations, all of us we have different um, vacations, especially schedules. You know, the time is different. Let me see how. Let me see. We're seventeen. We're still waiting. Some students. One second. Yes. Hi. Hello. Um, raise your hand, Jocelyn. Hi, Jocelyn. Hi, teacher. Hello. Uh, what What do you say, Semana Santa in English? Uh, you can call Holy Week. Holy Week. <laughs> yes. Uh, look at the chat. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. It's what we call in English Holy Week. Okay, so we will continue with the contents that we have been studying. And uh, we are in the in the modulo tres. Ya estamos en la parte tres. We have finished the first one. And also we have a conversation here. This, this conversation is between two people. And also getting some jewelry. Um, when you go to a store and you get some specific and beautiful jewelry, you can check here. Para decir una vez, you can say once. Yes, Jose, you can say once a week, twice a week, ya son dos veces, pero una vez es once, or you can say, depende, one time or once. Okay, we have a conversation between uh, two people. We have Steve and we have Maria. So what we had to do is to take a short time to uh, read this conversation together. If you have questions about this vocabulary, you have the freedom to answer. Uh, the Steve and Maria, it says, oh, look at those earrings, Maria. They are perfect for you. These red ones, uh, I'm not sure. The, no, the yellow ones, oh, this, um, yellow isn't really a good color for me. Well, the necklace isn't bad. Which one? The blue one right there. How much is it? It's $42. That's expensive. Hey, let me get it for you. It's your birthday present. Happy birthday. That's why the topic is called, they are perfect for you. Especially when you want to buy some products and everything is very expensive. And you say, you know what? I can't, I can't afford it. That because it's very expensive. I don't have this amount of money. Y entonces pensamos, hey, esto no me alcanza. No, no puedo pagarlo. No puedo costearlo. En inglés podríamos decir, I can't afford. I can't afford it. I can't. Like this. I can't afford it. So let's try the conversation and then we will practice together. Oh, look at those earrings, Maria. They are perfect for you. These red ones, I'm not sure. No, the yellow ones. Oh, this mm, yellow isn't really a good color for me. Well, that necklace isn't bad. Which one? The blue one right there. How much is it? It's $42. That's expensive. Hey, let me get it for you. It's your birthday present. Happy birthday. Okay. Why don't we practice this conversation together? So we're going to try to switch. We're going to ask uh, Camilo. Camilo, I want you to be a Steve. Yes? And also, we will request Jenny Cruz. Hi, Jenny Cruz. Jenny? Hi. Okay, you will be Maria. So, guys, you can start right now. Oh, look at those earrings, Maria. They are perfect. Perfect for you. These red ones, I'm not sure. No, the yellow ones. Oh, things. Mm, yellow isn't really a good color for me. Well, that necklace isn't bad. Which one? That blue one right, right there. 
How much is it? It's 42 that expensive. Hey, let me get it for you. It's your birthday present. Happy birthday. Thank you so much, guys. I really appreciate it. So let's request uh, two other volunteers. Uh, Miguel Angel. Okay. Uh, you will be Steve, and we'll request Jennifer Hernandez to be Maria. Okay. Comenzamos. Oh, look at the those earrings, Maria. They are perfect for you. These press ones. I am not sure. No, the yellow ones. Oh, this um, yellow, it isn't really a good color for me. Well, that necklace isn't bad. Which one? That blue one right there. How much is it? It is 42. That, that is expensive. Hey, let me get it for you. It's your birthday present. Happy birthday. Congratulations. Thank you so much. That was great. We will request to Adriana Rajeda. So, Adriana? Yes. Yes. Could, could you be Maria? Okay. And also, we will request to, let me see, um, who else? We need to see, you know, people with cameras on. And remember, it's important to have the camera on. Let me check. Uh, Jose Daniel Chavez. Thanks for having the camera on, guys. Oh, I don't know. Can you help me, Jose, for being a Steve? Okay, teacher. Thanks. Oh, looks and it does earring, Maria. They're perfect for you. These are the ones. I'm not sure. No, teacher ones. Oh, this? Um, yellow isn't really a good color for me. Well, tax, the price is back. Which one? That blue one right there. How much it? It's 42. That's expensive. Hey, let me give it for you. It's your birthday present. Happy birthday. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate it. Um, I don't know if you have any questions or doubt about the vocabulary. Uh, do you have any questions or doubts about these uh, words in English? I'm a question. I have yes. a question. Yes. Uh, uh, tell me. Why, why, when we use the word ones, uh, for example, the red one, the yellow one, the blue one? Ah, that is a good question. We use, for example, when we are talking about an article, when we're talking about an object, but this object is in plurals. For example, we say, um, look at those earrings. We're talking about earrings. Cuando hablamos de earrings, que son como aretes, por lo general esto van en pareja, right? No pueden ir individual, se van en pareja. Entonces, cuando yo digo, they are perfect for you, porque son dos. Entonces digo, um, the, these red ones, Entonces, ese one se convierte como decir los rojos o los azules o los verdes. Entonces, ahí, ahí usamos el, el color más la palabra ones. Entonces, decimos the blue ones, eh, the yellow ones. Entonces, ya se refiere a, a plural. Ok, gracias. You're welcome. And also, we have necklace. You can see um, in the picture, the lady is putting some earrings, but down there, you can see some necklets decorated um, part worn in the, in the neck. That's what we say in Spanish, un collar. That's what we call necklets. And the pronunciation is necklets. Es un collar. 
Yes. Any other equation? No, I think it's clear. Uh, teacher. Yes. I have a question. Um, how, how do you say piercing? In, in English, it's piercing. Yeah, um, yes, it's, it's, it's in English. What is what is different in earring and piercing in English? Um, you say uh, piercing? Hello? Si, yes. I'm sorry, can you repeat the equation? Okay, what is the 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 different the difference in uh, para usar uh, aretes y piercing in, in English? Ah, it's because when we are using uh, in este caso earrings, bien se sabe que van exclusivamente para el oído, por eso la palabra ear rings. And yes, so, plural. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yes, earrings. Or puede ser earrings. Yeah. Y el otro es es piercing. It's, it's different, uh, exclusivamente para una parte. Eh. No tiene traducción al español. Um, de hecho, es que la palabra, se lo escribo aquí en el chat, se escribe así. Eh, Vea el chat. Um, así sería Persian. Este tiene, fun tiene función de sustantivo y tiene función de adjetivo. Por ejemplo, como sustantivo es como perforación. That's the meaning. También es okay. como adjetivo, es como perforador, punzante. Eh, entonces, de ahí viene también. Mm -hmm. okay. de, de ahí nace la palabra, eh, small hole in a part of the body, typically others. Entonces, se refiere como a la perforación. Y lo okay. usan como accesorio. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, let's continue with the next part because the topic is that we are going to use how much and how many. Most of us, we have been asking about the difference between both. As you know, we use many as uh, countable and uncountable nouns. El, la palabra many significa muchos, igual que la palabra much. But the only one difference about them is that many is used for things that we can count. Entonces, podemos decir de que usamos el, el many para cosas que podemos contar cosas que nosotros podemos contar we can count por ejemplo how many animals are there cuántos animales hay ahí usamos animals porque puedo contarlos one animal two three four and how many balls can you carry cuántas pelotas puedes cargar o llevar en este caso balls podemos contar las pelotas how many blades of grass are there cuántas cuchillas eh, la siguiente, how many cars, cuántos carros, how many children, cuántos niños, how many colors, how many eggs, how many fishes, how many games, how many grains, que son granos, how many pieces of cake, piezas de pastel, how many planks of wood, eh, partes de madera, and how many toys, cuántos muñecos. Entonces usamos el how many para cosas que podemos contar. Ahora bien, vamos con el uso de how much. When do we use how much? Use with singular nouns. En este caso, es una sola palabra, pero es con un significado eh, singular. Por ejemplo, how much cheese? ¿Cuánto queso? Como yo no puedo decir que es, eh, queso es, es general, es incontable. How much effort? ¿Cuánto esfuerzo? Es abstracto. We cannot use how many, sino que how much effort. How much farther? ¿Qué tan lejos? How much homework? ¿Cuántas tareas? How much meal? ¿Cuánta leche? Incontable. How much noise? ¿Cuánto ruido? How much rope? Eh, ¿cuánto, ¿Cuánto lazo? ¿Cuánta cuerda necesito? How much sun? It's on the beach. ¿Cuánta arena? Es incontable. How much soap? ¿Cuánta sopa? How much stuff? Eh, ¿Cuántas cosas? How much time? ¿Cuánto tiempo? How much traffic? ¿Cuánto tráfico? Incontable. How much water should I drink? ¿Cuánta agua debería tener? Entonces, la diferencia entre ambos, the difference between both, 
es que many es para cosas que podemos contar por individual y how much es cosas que podemos contar individual, pero que no se pueden contar una por una. Como la leche es incontable, como el queso, como la arena. So with the traffic, water, time, we cannot count. That's, that's why we use how much and how many. But in this case, we are going to focus about uh, money. Cuando nos referimos a dinero, vamos a utilizar how much. Porque la palabra dinero es incontable. Ya, si hablamos de dólares, ahí sí se pueden contar. Un dólar, dos dólares, tres dólares. Pero cuando hablamos de dinero, es una palabra muy general. Entonces, con un significado individual. Entonces decimos, how much money? How much is it? Questions? No questions. Yes, teacher. Uh, how question? Yes, tell me. Uh, Um, lo voy a decir en español porque no sé cómo, cómo decirlo en inglés. Uh -huh. Y si estamos usando una unidad de medida, por ejemplo, en el caso de la leche, eh, me quiero referir a cuántos litros de leche, ya porque tiene una unidad de medida, siempre es how much. No, ahí ya cambia, porque ya no va a contar directamente el, el objeto, sino que va a contar, el, en este caso, como el, la palabra clave. Por ejemplo, si yo digo box, box of milk. Aquí eh, ya no va a recaer la... El, cuando yo cuento, ya no va a recaer en la leche, sino va a recaer en la caja. Por ejemplo, si yo digo en la, en la bolsa, in the bag, ya no va a caer en la acción en, el, en la leche, sino en la bolsa. Entonces, eso es diferente. Ahí cambia. Por okay. ejemplo, yo digo um, how, many, how many boxes of milk ¿Cuántas cajas? Ahí ya va a contar las cajas. No va a contar la leche en sí, sino las cajas. En, usted no va a decir, uh, the bags of sand. ¿Cuántas bolsas de, how many bags of sands? Eh, ¿Cuántas bolsas de arena, por ejemplo? Entonces, ahí ya cambia. O por ejemplo, liters, los litros. ¿Cuántos litros? Uh, three liters, four liters of coffee, por ejemplo. Entonces, ahí si sí cambia, porque no se cuenta okay. directamente el, la, el objeto, sino la cantidad. Ok, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, let's figure it out. Look at this one. Circle the word that best completes the equations. How much or how many do they pay? What do you think is the answer? Much or many? Much. You much. say much. What do you think, guys? Do you agree with him? How much? How much? Okay, we how have much to do that. Hey. How much? Okay, you say how much. Someone else? How much? How much too? How much? Exactly. Because yeah, we much? don't know. Yes, that's right. Because we don't know a, a specifically um, the amount that we will pay. So how much? How much do they pay? And the number two, how much or how many days do you have in your vacations? And how, how many? many how many days? You say how, how many? Day. What do how you many? think is this? How many? How many? That's how many? Correct. How that's many. correct. Anonymously, yeah, that's right. So we have many because we can count days, two days, three days, four days, five days. We can count about them. That's correct. Let's continue with the next exercise here. And what I want you to help me with this one. It's actually simple. What you had to do is you had to, because we saw some, some questions, we will see the answer. We had to try to make a question 
using uh, the information in the answer. For example, it is ten fifty dollars. La respuesta dice que son diez cincuenta. ¿Cómo podría ser la pregunta? Y para eso, you can actually you can uh, write the answer in the chat, or also you can open the microphone and you say, teacher, the equation is this. Number two, I make 545 monthly. I make $545 monthly. Number three, they take $23 per item. So think about it and tell me. And the number four, the company pays $690 with bonuses. Entonces, ¿cómo creen que sería la pregunta? Usted trate de formularla and we check that. Ok, ya tenemos el primero. José Fernando says, oh, well, I'm sorry. Walter, Walter says, how many dollars in, have in the wallet? In, ahí sería, do you have in your wallet? Uh, do you have your wallet? How much is the is the change? Okay, that's that's okay. How much is the change? It is ten fifty. Makes sense. Nice, Jose. I think this question is related to the equation number one. So also you can also share um, for the number two, three, and four. Remember, if you can um, say the answers, activate the microphone and you say, teacher, I think this is the answer. I give you a moment. Okay, let's check the next one. It says, well, how much do I owe you? Ah, that, that's awesome, I like it. Okay, it is uh, 1050. Yes, good, good question. How much do you earn monthly? But 1050, oh, it's, ah, okay, okay. I make um, $545 monthly. Yeah, write the number. Uh, how, much, how much do you pay monthly? Yeah, it's okay too. How much money do you earn in the office? Okay, that's cool. Number four, and the company, ah, okay, they earn the office. The company pays me, pays me, or pays uh, $680 with bonuses. Yes, good questions. What else do we have here? Okay. All right. Someone else? Teacher, I have a question. Uh, yes. How can I help you? Uh, what is the meaning of uh, how much do I owe you? Ah, how much do I owe you is that the money that you have to pay this person. For example, you give me uh, a, an amount of money. You give me what? Uh, $200. So I, the question is, uh, how much money do I have to pay you? That will say, ¿cuánto dinero te debo? La palabra owned significa deber. 
o poseer en este caso, poseer. Entonces, ¿cuántos, eh, en este caso, cuánto dinero te debo? Gracias. All right. Uh, how much do you earn per month? It's okay. How much money pays the company for bonuses? How much does how much money does the, the company pay? Habría que modificar la How much money does the company pay for per bonus? Per bonus. Así podríamos hacer la modificación. Per bonuses. Yeah. Yeah, that's more formal. Okay, so let's continue with the next one. Uh, use how much, let's see. Mm -hmm. We're gonna request to um, Jose Fernando, please help me to read the instruction that we have. How much to receive for, uh, how much do you receive or pay per, per item? Yes, help me to read the instruction. Repeat, please. No problem. Hello? Yes? Oh, Fernando, can you read the instruction, the information that is here in blue? Tengo problemas con el audio, no escucho bien. Repeat, please. Okay, I think it's the, perhaps the audio. Okay, um, we're going to ask someone else. Let me see. Oh, yeah, I know, I know who. Veronica, read the instruction, please. You see how much or how money from, from the truck? So we need to complete the question. Control. And a control. No. No, sir. My uncountable and uncountable nouns. Acuérdense que how much is uncountable. Porque no se puede contar, no se pueden contar. Y tenemos countables que son how many. Acuérdense que how much es cuánto para cosas que no podemos contar por individual. Y how many es para, es significa cuánto también, pero son para cosas que podemos contar. Oh, I know that perhaps the internet connection is like not so clear. Okay, so what we had to do is that we had to answer the seven equations. So we had to write or oh, select how much or how many. So you decide which one goes straight in this equation. So I, I give you one minute. In the third is how much the stars are there in the sky? How many people live? So yeah, how many? How many there are in the sky? How much stars? Yes, it's how much because the stars are uncountable. Mm -hmm. And two is how many people live on Iceland? Um, three, three, how much birds are there? And four, how much water is in the ocean? Mm 
five. How much money is in a bank? In the six is how much how much countries are there in the world? Seven, how many bread is eaten per day? Okay, so let's um, socialize the answers here together. So let's see here. And the number one is uh, stars are there in the sky. Is, is what do you think? Uh, how many or how? How, how, much, how, many? how much? How much? How much? How much? In this case, because we can count them individually according to the grammar structure. So we use how many stars? So yeah, the number one will be how many? How many? Yes. Yeah, how many? Number two, people living on islands. Islands. Okay, one question. Sorry, teacher. Yes. Okay. One question. I don't. Why no escuché is... cuando dijo la explicación de la por qué la primero es how many. Uh -huh. Because we can count the stars. We can count them individually. Really? Yes, we can count them individually. No se pueden contar. Hay una infinidad, pero de acuerdo a la gramática, sí se ocupa mm -hmm. el how many. Que se ocupa el how many. How many yeah. stars? Mm -hmm. How many stars? Two stars, three stars. Por ejemplo, cuando usted va a un hotel, ¿cuántas estrellas? Es el top. Pero en ese caso, porque la está Ay, clasificando sí. como, como la calidad del, del hotel, pero yo Ay, ese es pienso cielo. que en el cielo infinitas no se pueden contar. Sí, ah, pero no. en, en, en inglés las cuentan como how many. Es how many. Okay. Yeah, it's how many. Yeah, they are how many. Yes. Para mí, para mí era incontable porque no puedo contar las, todas las estrellas que hay en el cielo. I know, I know pero that. Pero yo que era que era no creo que se ref, no se refiere a algo que, que podemos llegar a contar a, a llegar a un número final sino que es algo como sí puedo contarlo porque hay una dos tres cuatro cinco seis estrellas y, y si pongo por ejemplo no hay una arena dos arenas tres arenas que en arenas sí sería jamás es algo como que sí se puede contar pero aunque nunca vamos a terminar de contarlas pero sí puedo contarlas exactamente that's great o no puedo contar una, un poquito de leche, otro poquito de leche, porque tengo que usar una medida. That's right. Yeah, in English is use how many. So we cannot use how much. Because as I, as I said, we can count them. Yes. Okay, so we go on to number two. And uh, people live on islands. What do you think is the answer? How many people live how in islands? How, how many? many? Exactly, because we can count many people, like three, four, five, etc. Excellent. Number three, birds are there. How many? How, how many? many? How many? How many birds? Yes. Mm -hmm. Number four, water is in the ocean. <laughs> how, how much? How much? How much? Water how much? Is much? Yeah, because we can all we can all count um, water. Number five, money is in the bank. How much? How much? How much? How many? How many? How many? How many? How much money? In this case, we're gonna use how much money, because money is a word that we can now count to money, three money. We say money in general. When we are talking about the currency like dollars, yes, I can count. 
one dollar, two dollars, three dollars, euros. In this case, money is how much money do you pay? Okay, so it's much. Number six, countries are there in the world. How many? How many, how many how countries? Many? Yes, that's right. And also number seven, a bread how is many? eaten per day. How much? How much? Yes. How much? Yes. Si lo queremos hacer contable, ¿cuál podríamos utilizar para hacerlo contable? Yes. How many? How many bread. pieces? Yes. How, how, many pieces? Pieces? how many pieces of, of bread? Yes. En este caso es bread en general es uncountable, como the butter, also the cream, also the bread, also the milk, so are uncountable nouns. That's right. So we can see uh, the differences between how much and how many. Um, so you can say how much money when we're talking about possessions. Para, para poder hacer preguntas que cuánto cuesta algo, pues nosotros siempre vamos a utilizar how much. How much is it? How much are those earrings? ¿Cuánto cuesta esta, estos aretes? How much are those earrings? How, uh, much, how much is this cell phone? ¿Cuánto cuesta? How much is this cell phone? How much is that computer? How much is this watch? How much is it? Y para la pregunta en general es how much is it? Cuando usted quiere saber una, el precio de algo, usted lo dice de manera general. ¿Cuánto cuesta? Sorry for my misspelling. How much is it? Ahí está. Look. How much is it? Eso es cuando usted pregunta el precio de manera general. Y ya cuando quiere especificar qué producto es. How much is the cell phone? How much are those shoes? How much are those things? So you can use uh, that one. Entonces, cuando, como se refiere a dinero, usted tiene que utilizar siempre el how much. Por eso es que en la conversación, cuando hablábamos un poquito de los pair of earrings, uh, ahí está. Uh, look at those earrings. They are perfect. It's in really good color for me. Well, that necklace isn't bad. Which one's the blue one? Right? And how much is it? Cuanto cuesta? You know, it's um, $42. So we use how much is it? Okay. Uh, before concluding, do you have any questions or any comment or any doubt that you would like to ask? No, teacher. That was okay? Yes? Okay. So don't forget to take advantage every day uh, to practice with the platforms, the ones that I'm going to share right now. So you can see here this. Look at this. Ahí vemos, eh, tenemos acá el... Ya estamos en la sección 3 para esta semana. Para esta semana tenemos el how much is it? Justamente. Mm -hmm. We have three equations, uh, part of the homework. Y también realizaremos esta semana lo que es el midterm exams. Entonces ustedes pueden accesar acá a poder practicar all the exercises we have here. Look at this. We have, yes. Yes. Yo tuve un problema con este el ejercicio 112. Fíjense de que lo ponía en negativo. El, el teacher dice que de dónde es el teacher, que si es de Canadá, me parece. Y este le puse no, he is not, y me salía error. Le puse yes, eh, he is igual, lo puse contractado y no tampoco me salió bien. Este, bueno, por esa, ajá, y Perdón. por esa pregunta me baja el 6%. No le contestaron en el grupo. Es que ahí era así. Era yo. Por eso es. El, no el, el, el pronombre. Es que, no, yo pongo no, aquí, yo, yo no pongo sí, yo pongo aquí. Pero, pero esa era la respuesta. Que, no, yo también utilicé el sí. 
Y también me da la ropa. Ah, entonces es she, no es he. No, pero utilicé también el she. Es el no she, pero contractado. No es she, no es Porque yo lo ponía normal y contractado y ninguna de las dos me ¿Algún ¿Y alguno de ustedes lo puso de alguna manera que le salió bien? A mí me salió she, este, pero contractado, salió bien. ¿Y le salió bien? Sí. No, she is not. Uh -huh. mm, bueno, ok. Voy a intentar así, ok. Thank you. Ajá, try, you can try. Yeah. Ok. All right, guys, thank you so much uh, for this one. Don't forget to practice. See you tomorrow. I know that you need to rest and take a good time. Okay. And thank See you for you. being here in the class. See you tomorrow. Okay. See you tomorrow, teacher. Thank you. Okay, Bye. 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 Bye.